Hi Scorpio, welcome to your reading and this is your July the 11th and July the 12th of 2020. This is for Scorpio Ascendant, Moon Rising and Venus Placement on their chart. Jupiter may also resonate with the reading. Cross Watchers are always welcome. So Cross Watchers, if I described someone here and you know that it is not you, then it's not you. Okay, just because you are connecting with Scorpio, you're going to assume that whom I'm describing here is you. Please don't. This is not a personal reading. This goes to Scorpio and cross watchers alike. If the situation here is not what's going on in your life, then this is not you. If the character that I am describing is a total opposite of you, then it is not you, okay? For those of you who are new to the channel, you might want to consider subscribing for I am always hosting a party online. When I do live reading, you can ask me question. But if you don't, if you didn't catch me on the live stream, you can still ask me question. All right. There is a link in the description box. Click that link. You will be routed to my page. Type in your question. Don't forget to click submit so that I can answer them. And if you also want to know your lucky number and lucky color, follow me in Instagram. So Scorpio, if you resonate with the reading, congratulations. If you do not resonate with the reading, then come back to the reading after a week or two. Time is fluid. If you resonate with some bits and pieces of the reading, then still congratulations for I am doing a collective reading. So Scorpio, let's begin with the reading. King of Autumn and Page of Swords. Okay. Because you are accomplished, charismatic, you know that you are gifted, right? In any shape or form. For our general men, you know that you are gifted mm. <coughs> and compassionate. The universe is giving you a gift. You are gifted and you're still giving gift. You, you are still getting gift. How lucky you are. Um, the reason being is because you are assertive when it comes to what you know that is right. You're fighting for it. That's, that's cool. So everything going your way. Um, you are a good person or company to work with. So someone wanted to probably give you a contract or offer a contract to you because you're good at multitasking um, it goes with your work it goes with um, because you, you are at this moment in time you master how to communicate and connect with people okay you have a very charismatic attitude um, and people love that about you you're also compassionate like what I mentioned but you're not allowing other people to uh, misread that your compassion as your weakness all right you, you, you are so loving, but you know if people are doing you numbers, you know that you can stand for your right. So, and people love that about you. Eight of Swords are here and Two of Swords. Probably you are this person who disconnected with someone else's. Um, probably you are the one who asked for a time off 
this person that you left behind is now do not know what to do right? you made them worry in a way your person is very worried about you about themselves rather not about you you're okay worried about this connection so you come up a little strong here well you you you're not going to do that if that person you know didn't do you wrong of course you're not that crazy you want to give your loyal heart to this person but i think that this person didn't take it seriously you know played along with your heart so they think that it's a joke <laughs> and you said no <laughs> no i'm not even playing that's true i'm not even playing that's what i can hear the world card so i can sense a separation now you might be connecting with someone that is totally far from you metaphorically or figuratively we're in you may be i mean living in a different city now coast to coast different countries that is figuratively but metaphorically even in case that you are still living in the same city same neighborhood probably living in the same house sleeping in the same bed you know that the energy is far from who you are right so three of pentacles is here so the other person is kind of like the other person is thinking of ways on how to um, get back to your um, on how to or studying this connection how to get back to you all right how to get back with let's say with this connection um, I can also say I can also see an apology here but they do not know how to because you took it seriously ten of wands is here now this person is having a hard time four of swords they're praying they're having a hard time here it felt like a burden to them that you are far from them now i guess it could be you or the other person cross watchers if you feel like you are the focal point in this reading so be it um scorpio if you feel like you are on the cross watcher side that's okay i'm not reading which side you at i am reading the energy but someone here is praying um because they're having a hard time to get back to someone king of swords as of the moment the other person whoever this is who's not playing is do not even want to talk okay so you might be connecting with a gemini or has a gemini placement on their chart or you have a gemini placement on your chart um it felt like your if tower moment is not happening you're giving them um the tower moment you made it because you want them to learn don't um for for whoever it is if if, if the cross watcher is the one who's let's say having a hard time scorpio still loves you but you crossed the line okay you you better know when to you know pull the trigger eight of swords is here someone is a little let's say um really really stressed here the high priest so i think you are connecting with taurus or has a taurus placement on their chart or you have a taurus placement on your chart but someone here wanted to have a marriage okay i told you someone is not playing this is very traditional this person is very traditional whoever this is and willing to cut the cord is here willing to cut the connection if you play with them that's true they don't play this love is not a game for them 
So two of swords is here. So you might be connecting with a Virgo or has a Virgo placement on their chart. I think the disagreement will be a little longer before it goes, uh, be before it will move. But you may, whoever this is who's having a hard time, then I don't know. You deserve it. You will find challenges on how to express your love and you'll be praying for more. Four of Swords showed up here twice. So this is your reading Scorpio. If you resonate with this and you want to go in depth, you can book a personal reading. You can contact me. It's in the description box. Click the subscribe button, smash that notification bell and comment down below. I'm very interactive. Thank you so much for watching. Love and light to you. Namaste. See you on the next reading. Goodbye.